Well, imagine for one second that your child started exhibiting some unusual behaviors and you or your doctors couldn't get to the bottom of what was going on. Good evening. I'm Mary Alice Demler. Hello, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. Well, that's just what's happening in Genesee County, where parents met to learn more about a mysterious illness that's affecting some students. Well, tonight, two on your side, Sarah Hopkins has the latest from Leroy on an ailment with symptoms similar to Tourette's syndrome. State health officials addressed hundreds of concerned parents and community members here at Leroy Junior Senior High School. But for some of them, the information that officials had to give just wasn't enough. We do have some answers. We will share as much as we can without sharing the diagnosis. We can't do that. It's not right. It's a federal issue, but it's, it's not right either. Answers leading to more questions in Leroy as state health officials tried to calm the fears of hundreds of parents, wondering why 12 high school students, all girls, have developed strange, uncontrollable tics in recent months. I can assure you that these uh, individual, the, the, the children have all been seen by professionals who have come up with an answer and they're being treated appropriately and they're actually doing pretty well. State health officials and Leroy Superintendent Kim Cox met with a full auditorium after a three and a half month investigation announcing they've ruled out environmental factors like carbon monoxide as well as infections or communicable disease. Illegal drugs were also ruled out. We got the best minds focused in on this and we're comfortable with, it, with what we've come up with. But just what they've come up with, officials can't say. Generally speaking, they cited genetics, head trauma, and drugs for OCD and ADHD as potential causes. Antihistamines are also known to cause tics. Stress and anxiety make them worse. Well, then what is it? But those answers weren't enough for Jim DuPont. He says his daughter has missed nearly every day of school this past month. And uh, so now she has to be tutored, and I worry about her future. She's only 17. She can't even drive now. DuPont says his daughter is seeing a neurologist, but he hasn't heard a diagnosis. You feel frustrated and helpless because you don't, you don't know what you can do, and um, you're just not getting any answers. After speaking with all the girls involved, state health officials say they do know one thing for sure, and that's that these girls are absolutely not making their symptoms up. In Leroy, Sarah Hopkins, Channel 2 News.